In the previous video, we learned how to use URL data to load page data. If we navigate to slash products slash one, the product details are fetched from the API and displayed in the UI. Now this is great, but what happens when we enter product ID as four, which is not supported by our JSON server? Well, we see undefined and undefined. This of course is not favorable. What we should do is display a helpful error message to the user. A very simple 404 product not found will go a long way. So in this video, let's understand how to handle errors in our load functions. Within the product ID folder, within page.server.js file, which contains our server load function, let's check if the product ID is greater than three. If it is, let's throw an error. If we now go back to the browser and navigate to slash products slash four, we see 500 status code and the message is internal error. And this is because in SvelteKit, throw new error is not how we deal with load function errors. Instead, we are going to use a helper function from SvelteKit. Let's import it at the top. Import error from Svelte JS slash kit. Now, instead of throw new error, we simply throw error. The error function accepts two arguments. First is the status code. This is 404. And the second argument is the error message, which is product not found. If we now save the file and head back to the browser, we see 404, product not found. Much better. This, by the way, is SwellKit's default error page. You can customize this error page on a per route basis by adding an error.swelt file. Let's take a look at an example. In the product ID folder, as sibling to page.swelt, create plus error.swelt. Again, a SwellKit convention that we must follow. Within the file, we import page from stores module. From $app slash stores. For the HTML, we bind status and error message using the page import. So dollar page.status dollar page dot error dot message. If we now head back to the browser, we see 404 product not found. But this HTML UI is completely up to us. We can omit the status code and make the error message more friendly. Oh no, looks like the product is currently unavailable. Take a look at the browser and we see the UI is now more user-friendly. In fact, you can pass in more data to this error page. Instead of string as a second argument, we can specify an object. Message property, is what the string represents, and we can add additional properties. Try a different product. Back in the HTML, we can add a paragraph tag where we bind $page.error.hint. If we now take a look at the browser, we see the error message as well as the hint text. Both are available on the error object. This is how you handle errors in the load function. Now, before we wind up, I want to quickly talk about redirects as well. Similar to error, SwellKit also provides a redirect helper, which we can use to redirect the user. For our current scenario, 
let's redirect the user to the products page if product ID is greater than three. At the top, import redirect instead of error. And I'm going to comment out the error statement. Instead, throw redirect 307 slash products. 307 status code stands for temporary redirect and slash products is the route to which we redirect. Head back to the browser. Navigate to slash products slash four. And you can see we are redirected to just slash products. Now what we have here is a better use case for throwing an error than redirecting. A more appropriate use case for redirection is when you have to redirect a user to the login page if they're not logged in when accessing a protected route. But that is pretty much what I wanted to cover about errors and redirects in load functions. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.